GTEC A10M. Do you need a dual extruder? Hey guys, Eugene here. This is the GTEC A10M dual extruder 3D printer. So I bought this from Banggood with my own money. So this is my honest opinion of this printer. Okay, so the build plate on the 3D printer is a 220x220x250 by by build plate. And it is the same size as a Creality Ender 3 because it's based on the same printer. The one thing that I can say is a big improvement over the Creality is the motherboard. It's got the GT2560 motherboard with stepper motor driver upgrades. So you can upgrade the stepper motor drivers, uh, which I think is a great idea. It comes with the GTEC super plate. Okay, not so super. I had problems getting stuff sticking to this, to this build service. So I flipped the plate over, made it nice and clean, and the prints stick perfectly just to the plain glass, which is what I prefer. You get a smoother bottom print. Uh, on the other side, you get a bit of a bumpy print. So I really prefer just flipping this over and using the other side. The printer is a dual extruder. Now, you don't need a dual extruder. If you don't need a dual extruder, you're going to have a bit of an issue because if you print with one filament roll, you have to have filament in both tubes. Otherwise, you get a filament creep and you get a jam. Speaking of jams, this printer does tend to jam quite a little bit. Um, and GTEC has supplied a handy little tool. They obviously knew that this gets uh, clogged up quite often. So you take this tool, you take your Bowden tube out, and you force it down in when, when there's heat on the uh, hot end, and you force out the jam. It works well. I've actually used the same tool on my ender when that gets all clogged up. And you've also got this little needle uh, here to clean out the, the, um, the nozzle. Gosh, I forgot what that was called for a minute. Right, so printing in dual color works well. Once you get the cura settings and all your slicer settings working well, you switch over between the colors. Um, I've done some nice prints here. He has a little cone that you can print. Your color separation is good. You can use a purge tower, but I've gone for a purge bucket. The purge bucket works quite nicely because only when you do your layer change does it purge out your one color and bring in your other color. This allows you to have a, a less wastage on your filament. So you get a nice clean print, a nice clean color change, and um, yeah, pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with the way this has worked. Now, the reason why I got the dual color printer was because I print crosses for our church. He has the cross here. So these crosses are a dual color cross and uh, you print the base layer first, you pause the print on the old machine on the ender. I would pause the print and pull out the filament, carefully feed in some more filament, try to perch it gently and then get the printer starting again. This caused unteen problems. I had so many failures. So I decided because I'm pushing these things out in bulk, I decided to buy the dual color printer. It took me a little while to set this machine up and to get the, the dual color to work properly. Once I got it working, it works well. Um, I can leave it unattended. It will swap over the, the colors using the purge bucket. It will purge out the old filament and purge through the new filament. Um, I run about 50 millimeters of, of new filament through that, and that purges it clean, and you get a perfect break and a good print. So this has made my life a lot easier. The modulized extruder wiring. Okay, so you've got your modulized wiring coming in here, which is a clean, nice single plug in here, not separate wires running down to your motors. And um, I really like this solution. Also, you can add a TL touch, which is the GTEC's own uh, version of the BL touch, which is relatively cheap. It's only $20. You can add it onto the side here, and then all you do is you run your wires up here and you plug it into the back of the head here. Very elegant, you don't have to run wires through uh, like you would have to do with the ender, uh, but I don't understand why they didn't include that TL touch as part of the printer. Why didn't they just uh, include the automatic bed leveling? Because now I've got to put the TL touch on, buy it, wait for it to be shipped to me, plug it in here, I've got to update the firmware, and then eventually, we get our TL touch up and running. And I don't understand why they just didn't put that extra $20 onto the price, which I haven't mentioned. Uh, from GTEC, it's $299. And then from Banggood, I got mine for $239.99.
which I think is a really good price. I would have, I paid 260 because I paid the extra $20 to get the uh, TL Touch shipped to me, but that was shipped separately, different shipping manifest. It went via a different option. This arrived here in two weeks. My TL Touch took a month and a half to get to me. Eventually got it. I will be fitting it sometime over the next week or so, and um, I'll post a review on that. Uh, the other thing that this printer has is filament runout detection. And another, this is another funny one. They included the filament runout detection, but it's not enabled in the firmware. Duh. That's a little bit of a, a stupid thing. So now I've got to go into the firmware, I've got to flash in, and I've got to enable the, the uh, filament runout detection. Speaking of the filament runout detectors, this is what you would put on the post at the back here. You run your filament through here. It's just a little micro switch that will tell you if the filament runs out. So I had them connected up believing that it was all working and I put this one on and it broke off. Then I unplugged it and I took it off and I tried to print and lo and behold it printed. So therefore the filament runout detection does not work. So that was a little bit of a, a bummer. Okay, the SD card. The SD card on this printer is a full size SD card, uh, which is nice and convenient, easy to plug in. You load your, your files onto here and plug it into the side here. Lo uh, load it up using your dial as you would normally go through the menu through your SD card. Um, and yeah, print out your print. Again, I enjoy using Octoprint for these printers. So I set up Octoprint, very easy to set up on this printer, plugged it in. That's going to be part of that other course. I will show how to set up Octoprint. Uh, Octoprint. Octoprint is a convenient, nice way to do remote printing from your PC. You don't have to load things to the SD card, get up and walk over and plug it in and select it. You just click print to Octoprint from Cura. Yeah, that's about all I can say for this printer at the moment. Uh, go out and get one. And from Banggood, you can use my affiliate code in the, in the description below. Um, consider supporting us on Patreon. We would really love to have your support. You can download the Cura settings for this printer in the description. It links to the Patreon site and you can get it from the Patreon site. Yeah, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, love you guys lots and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Cheers.